We are on top of Barren Mountain now. We reached the top. There's an old fire tower up here with no top. I ain't climbing that thing. But just wanted to show you around what views we got. We got that lake down here again I showed you earlier this morning. And that view, which I showed you a better view of this morning, but we can see further out because the sun's risen. Clouds are lightening up. It's looking to be a beautiful day. And this is what I was showing you earlier, back that way. And we'll show you that way in a little bit. And there's the sun coming through the trees. So we reached one of our big climbs for the day. We still got some more climbing to do. And we should be camping at a nice creek today. We'll see. The water is in short supply and there's none up here. So I'll see you further down the trail. Hey guys, I passed the 2100 spot here. Figured I'd show you. So we have 2193 and change or 97. I'm not sure. But anywho, I still got my 388 down in Georgia. So I'm not at 2100 yet, but I'm getting there. And we're getting closer, closer to Katahdin. We're on the downside of Barren Mountain. And on our way to the chairbacks, which we'll be starting today. And we'll show you anything cool. Thanks for watching. See you out there. Happy trails. Good morning, guys. It's still Monday the 1st. Of August, and I just wanted to show you we're crossing this little bog, which is little, it's old, very old. Got so much vegetation and greenery, and it's so unique. I just wanted to share it with you. <clears throat> I'll show you up there. It's just a mountain, mountain bog, but it's wonderful that we have these things in nature up in the mountains. And the remote areas, and it's just so pretty. There's no sound in the 100 mile wilderness. It's nice until everybody comes by. <laughs> it is so peaceful up here. Just silence. So, thought I'd share with you. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, these have got to be the Pritcher plants. They're carnivorous plants, kind of like the regular plants we all know about, the Venus flytrap. Look at them out. Check them out. Flies go in here and they die. That's got to be them. Look at that. I haven't seen this plant, so it's got to be this one. Look, there's a bug there. Check it out. These, again, they, they go inside and lick the pollen, and then they just eat them. And that's so cool. That's got to be pitcher plants or pitcher plants something like that I was hoping I'd be able to see them and know what they were and figure it out there's some more right there they're so cool they're better than Venus fly traps look at them they're so pretty red look at that they're such pretty red look at that look at that bee that bee is eating away so, figured I'd share Hi guys, it's still the first. I just wanted to let you know, this is an old plane crash. Father and son, I'll tell you all I know about the story. It's not a lot. I don't know when. But father and son crashed here. And the plane's upside down. The wings are broken right there. And that's the inside. And This is wild. Both father and son walked away. They survived. This is a Citabria. Looks like it's fairly old, so definitely not recent, not super recent, but the plane's made of fabric that's been painted and everything and shellac, so. This is wild. They rerouted the trail, so that way we could come by and see the, see the wreckage. It's crazy. But it's all tore up. The trees, that's one of the trees that broke the fall. 
and it flipped the plane and they survived. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Especially since it's made of lightweight material and just poles and simple stuff. They're lucky. They're lucky. There's a little piece of plexiglass. So, figured I'd show you. And there's a couple gears right there. And some other stuff. Pretty cool. But they walked away. That was a fantastic story. Morning, guys, again. Still the first, I wanted to show you my view on top of the ledges in between the chairbacks. That's Barren Mountain in the chairback there where they start. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Got ledges. Hey guys, it's August 1st again. I just wanted to show you another view. I have Mount Katahdin in my view. Finally, finally. She's right in the back there. Right in the far shadow. The one right in the middle and the far shadow that drops straight down. That's Katahdin. I am 100% sure. And we also have all these other mountains that we still got to go over. This is the view of all of them. Yeah. Got some hard couple days. And then we're going to be climbing that puppy. And then it's it for Maine. That's the end of the trail for me. Until I go to Georgia and then back home. Whew. It's interesting to see it. That's Katahdin. Whoop dee dee. I'm so excited. I'm also tired. Been climbing all day. So <laughs> I am wore out. But I just wanted to share. Because that is awesome. Let's zoom in again. Because I can't get enough. We're going to be seeing more and more of her as the next days. Much closer. So. Just wanted to share with you. Hey guys, it's August 1st, and this is the end of my day. This is West Chairback Pond. And I'll be camping just the other side of it, where West, where the stream comes out. And just wanted to share it with you. So I get to enjoy this for the evening. And listen to the creek. And I'll show you the tenting area. It's right above the AT, so it should be a little remote. We'll see. Hopefully better than last night. That was a beautiful location, but man, everybody came by to go swimming. It was Grand Central Station. I never got rest. And then when I finally did, I had to get up. Anywho, that's where I'm going to put my tent in that shady spot there next to Pregnant Lady. And the stream's right through the trees right to my left there. And we should have a good evening. Because you can see there's not a lot of tent spots here. A lot of trees and brush. So I shouldn't have too much company. So we'll see. So I will see you tomorrow. Show you anything interesting. And take care. Thanks for watching. Look guys, it's a little helping hand to coming out of a tree to help you on your way. Isn't that so cool? A little helping hand to help you down the hills. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I just saw it and had, had to share. It just was so funny for me. Trail makes you silly. So. <laughs> Anywho, I will catch you later. Good morning guys, it's August 2nd. I just wanted to share this with you. I'm coming down off that... Uh, Mount Columbus, Madison, not Madison, Mount Columbus, but I wanted to show you that we got this sheer cliff, we just turned to go down, sheer, sheer cliff, straight down, into the wild yonder, way out there, the trail goes down there, those rocks you see in those little below, are straight down rocks, so we're going straight down. And 
just straight up. So this is a pretty significant bit. And this is a death trap in the rain because all these rocks get slick. Super slick because they're slate. And they are bad. So I just wanted to share the the bad side of the trail. <laughs> so I'm going to get on down there and be as safe as I can and make it for another day. If you see this, I made it. <laughs> Take care and happy trails. All right, guys, here's the other side. I made it down. The other side of the rock slide is huge. Look at that. Straight up. Straight up. And then back up to the rocks that I showed you earlier. And then there's a cliff face, which you can't see very good because of the, the freaking cloud. But this is a very unique area. I'll tell you that there's rocks everywhere. Freaking boulders all the way down. Giant ones. Got to come through all that. And looks like we got some more down there, but not as many as up here. That was wild. All right. So I'll show you more down the trail if I see anything. Take care. Don't try this at home. <laughs>